everybody and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Workout with NMC. I'm your trainer today, Emily Kandanga Erastus, and I'm joined by my beautiful co-trainer, Larisha De Silva. Hi. Today we're going to be taking you through a very, very powerful and challenging full body workout. We're gonna start off with our lower body, targeting our quads, hamstrings, and finishing it off with some glutes. And then we're gonna move on to our upper body where we'll be focusing on our chest, shoulders, and back for a nice upper body workout. From then on, we'll wrap the session up with a finisher that's gonna really make sure that you leave everything that you have in your tank on the mat. So without further ado, let's get started with our warm up. All right, so let's get right into our warm up, starting with the world's greatest stretch. Walking out into plank. You can bend your knees here if you need to, stepping your right foot forward, putting that back knee on the mat, and then opening up, looking at your fingertips if that's available, bringing that hand down, taking that foot back, walking yourself back into your standing position, raise those arms overhead, and we go back down. This time we're gonna switch sides. All right, now bringing our left leg forward, back knee down to the mat, opening up, looking at your fingers, bringing that hand down, stepping back, and back to standing. Beautiful. You should already feel warm, right? This is quite a full body move here. We're going into it one more time. Right leg forward, and we open up. Notice if you are a bit able to open up a little bit more then the first time you did it, on the right side, arms go up, down, walking it out into that plank, left leg up, opening up, looking at those fingers, bringing that hand down, and stepping back. Beautiful, up to standing. Now we're gonna take this down to the mat for our cat cow. So we can find ourselves down on all fours, tabletop position, making sure that your shoulders and your wrists are aligned and that your knees are directly underneath your hips. So from here, we're gonna tuck our table into round our back for our cat cow. And then we open up. This is a beautiful way to warm up the spine, moving at a pace that feels comfortable for you and also using your breath to anchor you. We're gonna do two more, rounding the back and opening up. Last one. And open up. Beautiful. You can bring your spine to neutral and here we're gonna go into some bird dogs. So we're still here on our hands and knees. We're gonna extend opposite arm and opposite leg using our core to really stabilize, all right? Let's go. Just holding it for a second, and then you switch sides. Extending and bringing it back. So if you notice that you're getting a little bit wobbly here, that's completely okay. It's just a cue for you to engage your core a little bit more. We're gonna do two more each side. Nice full extension. Feel it in your glutes. Feel it in that arm, that shoulder. One more each side. Last one here. Beautiful. And we're gonna make our way up back to standing so that we can do a final part of our warm up, which is our jumping jacks. Get our heart rate up. We're going for 20. Starting with our feet together. And we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay light on your feet. Two, three, Four, keep your core tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. We're warm, we're ready to rock. All right, so we're gonna start today's workout with circuit number one, which is a lower body focused one. Starting off with our pulse squats, then we're gonna move into low reverse lunges, and from there, we're gonna follow it up with a single leg glute bridge. So for your modifications, I want you to have a look over at Larisha, and if you're looking for a bit more of a challenge, then keep your eyes on me.
All right, are you ready? We've got our timer set for 30 seconds. Let's begin with our squat pulses. Squatting down, keeping your chest nice and open, pulsing for two at the bottom, and then standing up nice and tall. Keep that core tight and move at a pace that feels good for you, right? This is your workout, your session, so make it yours. Make it feel good for you. We got 10 more seconds here. Sit, sit, stand, beautiful. And time, amazing. We're moving into our low reverse lunges. So low means we're gonna hold our position right here and then be lunging back. Are we ready? Let's go. There we go, keeping that chest open. Try not to lean forward and also keep your gaze straight ahead, okay? That's where your goals are. Ain't nothing on the ground for us. Looking straight ahead, keeping that core tight, feeling the legs burning, but pushing through it, okay? Eight more seconds. Stay with me. That's time. Beautiful, shaking it out. And we're gonna go down onto the mat for our single leg bridges, all right? So starting with a nice flat back, hands at our sides. We're gonna lift our left leg up into the sky and up we go. Squeezing that glute at the top, making sure that your heel is staying on the ground so that you can push through that heel and really squeeze at the top. This is one of those movements that you don't need to do much in it for you to really get a good burn in that hamstring, in that glute. We've got eight more seconds. Three, two, and we switch sides. Putting that leg down, other one goes up into the air, and up we go. Hey, amazing. Squeeze, oh my goodness. Last 12 seconds. Up, drive those hips up. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, and relax. Beautiful. That is the end of round one, and we've got two more to go. Starting back at the top for our squat pulses. All right, we can shake it out a little bit, and we go. And up. The sweat has officially been broken. <laughs> We're in it. Squat and stand. Keep that chest open. Keep your abs engaged. Almost there. Good. Last one. And time. Shaking it out. Getting ready for our lunges. Oh, I'm gonna need a towel break. All right, we go into our low hold and we lunge. Good, chest open. Try to focus on breathing through your nose. You know it can get a little hard, but it's much better for you to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Ooh, that burn. Sensational. Down to the mat for our bridges. Oh, good. This is some relief. Let's lift that left leg up into the sky and up. Squeeze. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging for yourself, you can take that leg down and up. 
Otherwise, you stay with the variation Larisha is doing. Beautiful, one more. All right, switching sides. And we go. Good. Keep moving. Stay in control by keeping your core activated, engaged throughout the movement. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. Beautiful. We'll give ourselves 30 seconds before we move on to our final set. Woo! Things are starting to heat up. How are you guys feeling at home? Let us know in the comments. How are you feeling right now? Are you like, oh my goodness, what is this rest of this workout gonna look like? Or are you like, I'm okay. I can handle this. I got this. <laughs> All right, let us know in the comments. We love to hear from you guys. We're moving back into our last round, starting with our pulses. Three, two, let's go. Beautiful. Remember, nose, nose breathing. Good. And squat, squat, stand. Beautiful. Three more. Come on. Last time here. And stand. Beautiful. Woo. Always got to shake those out into our low lunges. Mm. And we go. Down. Reverse. Keep your core tight. Keep your chest open. Breathe. You got this. Might not feel like it. You might want to stop. I know the burn is there, but you can push through. You can push through. Let's keep going. 10 seconds. Three, two, and time. Woo. Wow. <laughs> We're going down to the floor for our last bridges. Getting in position. Left leg goes up. And we go. Squeeze that glute. Squeeze your hamstring. Keep your abs tight. Focus. Give yourself words of encouragement when things get hard. It's a beautiful way to build your self-trust, your self-confidence. Keep pushing, last one. All right. Down, we switch legs. Up, and we go. Squeeze. Good job. You're doing amazing and we're almost done with our first circuit. Keep pushing for these last 15 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Last five, two, and one. Beautiful. Ooh, what a beautiful burn. <laughs> we are done with our first circuit and we're gonna move on into our upper body series. All right, so we are all set up and ready for circuit number two, which will be focusing on our upper body. We're gonna start off with some T to Y raises, which are gonna target your back. Then we're gonna move down to the mat for our push-up to beast, and we finish everything off with our plank shoulder taps.
So let's get in position for our T to Y raises by just hinging forward, letting our arms be nice and heavy. And we go, opening up and Y. So think about those letters and how they look like. And that is the shape that you are making with your arms as you raise them up. And you really wanna raise them up all the way and make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, especially in your T, right? Squeeze those shoulder blades, full range of motion, keeping your core tight and making sure that you're not rounding your back, right? So we don't want you here nice and open with the chest, right? And one more, three, two, <laughs> and a one. Beautiful. Taking it down to the mat for our push-up to beast. So once again, if you need a variation, you're looking at Larisha, okay? So push-up position, three, two, let's go. Push-up and beast. And beast. Beautiful, core nice and tight when you push those hips back. Move at a pace that feels supportive for you, especially if you're doing the advanced version. And back. Good, we have two more. Come on, core tight. Last one. And back. Beautiful. And then we're getting ready for our plank shoulder taps. All right, so I'll be in a high plank. Larisha will remain on her knees. Three, two, let's go. Tapping those shoulders, remaining as steady as you can in your hips. So we don't wanna see any of this, okay? Bring control to that movement using your core. This is exactly why we did the bird dog warm up, where you were extending opposite arm and opposite leg. It's to get you ready for the shifting of the weight from one arm into the other. Three, two, and time. Beautiful. <sighs> That's round one for our upper body. We're gonna take a little breather, sip a little water. We encourage you to do the same thing at home and get ready for round two. All right, we are all set and ready for the second round. Let's go ahead and get in position starting with our Y and T raises. Three, two, let's go. Up and Y, beautiful. Squeeze those shoulder blades, lifting those arms, seeing if you can get a little bit higher than you were going in the first round. Maintaining a beautiful core engagement so that your back is not rounding. Protecting your low back by maintaining that core nice and tight. Beautiful. We got three more each side. Good. Into our last one, T, squeeze, and Y. Beautiful. Taking it down to the mat for our push-up to beast. Remembering again to take your time. Feel free at any point in the workout to modify which variation you're doing. So if you started on the advanced and you now wanna do the modification, there's no harm in it, but I always say challenge yourself. You can always do more than you think. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Push up and beast. Really push those hips back in your beast, almost like a mini downward dog with the knees bent. Good job, we got two more. Last one here. And relax. Amazing. Into our plank shoulder taps. Three, two, and shoulder taps. Again, maintaining nice core engagement, preventing the hips from swaying too much side to side. I love to hate this move. It's one of those, you know? You feel so strong when you do it right, but it's really freaking hard. But it's okay, because 
We can do hard things here. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Amazing. That was round two. Let's get ready for three. All right, workout with NMC family. We are heading into the very last round of our upper body circuit. Back up to standing for our T and Y raises. Three, two, let's go. Opening up and raising. By this point, your shoulders, your back, everything should be talking to you saying, hey, howdy, what's up? <laughs> we are working and we're gonna push through this last round and finish as strong as we started in round one, okay? So stay with me. Core tight. Remember, you're gonna breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Last one here, T and Y. Beautiful. Down for our push-up to beast. All right, last set. Challenge yourself. This is your opportunity to go and try a little something harder, okay? Three, two, and we go. Push up, beast. Remember, your push up is as low as you can handle with good form. Build from where you are. There is no harm or shame in that. That's how we all got strong. I didn't start off just doing push-ups in this advanced form. When I first started working out, you build up to it. Five seconds. And time. Beautiful. Nice. Into our shoulder taps. Last set. Three, two, let's go. It also helps here if you're in your advanced shoulder taps to have your feet a little bit wider than you normally would in your plank. It will give you a bit more stability in your hips. Good, keep going. Come back to your breath when things get hard. Last eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, beautiful. That deserves a flex, it's giving flex it. <laughs> All right, my friends, we're gonna wrap this workout up with our finisher. All right, my friends, we are almost done with today's session. I love to end all of my workouts with a little bit of a finisher, just a little bit of sprinkle, a little something on top of everything. Make sure that you leave everything that you have in your tank on the mat. So we're gonna start off with our half burpee, then we're gonna go into pulse squats and finish it off with a plank hold. We're doing this circuit Tabata style, so we're gonna be working just for 20 seconds with 10 seconds in between to catch our breath. Get ready for our burpee in three, two, let's go. And just jumping back into your plank, up and jump. Good, keep going. Just 20 seconds of work here. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Always get that last burpee in, my friends. Next up is our pulse squat. Three, two, let's go. Keep that chest open, look up, and bounce. In through the nose, out through the nose. You've got it. <laughs> Five seconds, come on. Whew. Three, two, relax down to the mat, elbow plank, 
Modify your plank if you need to. Have a look at Larisha. Three, two, hold. Core is nice and tight. No bums in the air. Bring that bum down. Feel your core working. Breathe. Last four, three, two, time. Beautiful. We're taking that back up to the top two more times, starting with our half burpee. Three, two, let's go. There's no rest here. This is our finisher. Come on, keep it pushing. Remember, it's not a complete burpee. If you don't jump, jump. And time. Beautiful. <laughs> Three, two, pulse squats, we go. Down and up. You can hear us breathing, right? Are you guys breathing like this? Are we all working as hard as together? I hope we are. Don't cheat. Three, two, and time. Beautiful, down for your plank. Come on, we're almost done. Three, two, hold it. Going to your happy place, thinking about how strong you're getting, how powerful you're feeling. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Taking it back up to the top for the very last time. Come on, Larisha, stay with me. You two at home. Three, two, let's go for our burpee. Down. And up. Come on, two more. Last one. Time. Amazing. Whew. Going into our pulses. Three, two, let's work. Pulse it out. Breathing deeply. Totally okay if you've lost your nose, nose breathing now. I've lost mine too, but we're still gonna push through. All right, five seconds. Three, two, and time. Beautiful. Down for our elbow plank. It's our last one for the day. Hold it the entire 20. Three, two, up we go. Amazing, my friends. We've gotten all the way to the end of the session together. I'm so proud of you. You did it. Three, two, time. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. High five, girl. Give yourself a high five at home. You made it through the session. You could have been anywhere else, but you made it to the end of the workout, and that is something worth celebrating. Let's get ready to cool down. Ah, there's nothing that feels better than a complete workout, my friends. Let's seal this one up with a beautiful cool down. Starting off with our child's pose. So we're gonna have our toes together and take your knees as wide as the mat. Push your hips back and stretch your arms out in front of you. Bring your head down to the mat and just breathe right here. Two more breaths. Beautiful. We're gonna take our hands over to the left side. Moving both hands over. Looking for a stretch now in our side body. We'll be here for two breaths. Over to the other side. Walking your hands bit by bit. And down. Um, 
beautiful bringing it back to the center finding our way in our tabletop position so adjusting the knees so that they're in line with the hips we're going to do our cat cow like we did in the beginning of our workout so tucking that tailbone in rounding the back and then opening up moving at your own pace we'll be here for five cat cows in total so we got three more Good job. Taking your time here, really taking the moment to give gratitude to your body for showing up for you, carrying you through the session. Beautiful. Now we're gonna bring our right leg up in for our runner's lunge stretch. So leaning into our hip here, similar to how we started our session, but now we're gonna hold it and just breathe here. Really make sure you're leaning forward and so that you're feeling a stretch in the hip as well as in the glute here and the hamstring. Breathing, chest nice and open. Try not to have your shoulders by your ears. Open up that chest. And then we're gonna shift our hips back so that we can straighten out the leg for our hamstring stretch. Stretching the back of the leg. And grab hold of the toe or you can keep your hands at your sides when it comes to stretching it's really the one place where I say tune in listen to your body and make sure that you're doing what feels good for you then we're gonna go into our pigeon bringing that leg to the side and finding a spot to sit there on our hips and we go down so we want to make sure that our hips are not over the one side perfect they're perfectly square and you feel that stretch in that glute once again in your hamstring holding here if this is not too deep for you you can even deepen it by going all the way down to the mat and gently working your way back up and we're gonna take that leg back and we repeat on the other side left leg coming up Leaning into that hip, opening up that chest, relaxing your shoulders, looking for that stretch, and then breathing to send oxygen to those areas, okay? We can return to our nose-nose breathing now. Our heart rate has slowed down. Shifting our weight back for our hamstring stretch. Pointing those toes up, you should be on your heels on that foot. Beautiful, we're moving to our pigeon now, taking that foot to the side. Extending that back leg, relaxing those back toes, and try to repeat what you did on the other side. So if you were all the way deep, Go ahead and repeat. And gently working your way back up. And taking that leg back, we're gonna find our way into our hero's pose, just sitting on your feet. If this is not available to you, you can be up on your toes, right? So see where it feels the most comfortable for you and then settle there. We're gonna be stretching our arms here, starting with our right arm across. This is for our shoulder. So really make sure you're pulling that arm across the chest, perhaps giving your wrist a little bit of love, some rotations, some movement. When you open up, switch arms. Give that wrist some love. Mm. And release, we go back for our tricep stretch. So here, try not to open up your chest too much. Keep your rib cage nice and down, not flared up. And pulling that arm down, feeling that stretch in your tricep. Gently release, other side.
and relax. Beautiful, amazing job, my friends. We just completed a very, very challenging workout, but you got through it, and that is something to be really, really proud of. Now, one more thing before we let you go. We really wanna see how these workouts are treating you all. So please take a moment to snap a post-workout selfie, or better yet, take a video of you doing these workout sessions and tag us on Instagram using the hashtag WorkoutWithNMC. We wanna see your progress and celebrate you in 2024 as we crush our fitness goals together. Now make sure that you are subscribed to NMC's YouTube channel and that you're following them on Instagram so that you don't miss out on any of the exciting content that's coming out this year. Until next time, we cannot wait to see you in the next edition of Workout with NMC. Bye.